What is up YouTube, Kenny here today, and I've got another tutorial for you guys today. Uh, today's going to be a tutorial on the plugin Auto Message. Uh, so the first step is, of course, to download it, and I'm assuming you might have already done that, but if not, you can go ahead and go to the link in the description, and you can go ahead and download that, and then put it into your plugins directory, and then you just go ahead and start up your server, just like that. And then we'll go ahead and join the localhost server over here in game, just like that. And I'll switch back to the Explorer so we can go ahead and edit the config that has been auto-generated. Right there. I'll drag this over. And right there we go. All right. So this is pretty straightforward in terms of a configuration file. Um, I'll go over each of the different paths and some, some little extras that are going to be in there. So the settings. By default, it's going to be enabled because I guess that makes the most sense. Uh, if you don't want the plugin enabled, you can go ahead and set that to false. Uh, the minimum players, that is the minimum number of players on the server required for the plugin to broadcast the message. Log to console is going to be determined if it'll log the message to the console. A little stuttering there, but uh, it'll log whatever the message is that you set to the console. Uh, by default, that's off. And now setting the messages up. So message lists, you can name each list. And the reason for this is because you, if you wanted to give certain groups at, or send messages to certain groups and some not. So default is enabled. That's pretty straightforward. It's if the list should be used or not. Uh, random is if a random message to be taken from one of these four that we have set down below. The interval is the time in seconds between each message. You can set it to whatever you want. The expiry, I'm not entirely sure if I'm saying that, I should have looked it up before, but what it is, is it's the time when the messages will no longer work. And the way you would get this is, uh, you could do it in program, in Java, in code, but for most of you guys, you might not know code or uh, want the easy way out. There's a site in the description that easily converts it all, I'll go ahead and bring it over here. And if we want to take a date and convert it into the milliseconds, so for example, 08 slash 14 slash 2013 and convert it then we can get the result which will be right here and without the commas you would copy that and if you, if you want it to stop tomorrow and then you would paste it in the expiry right there and I'll have that site in the description uh, so now for the prefix this is the term that'll come before the message and the suffix is what comes afterwards um, you can set these to whatever you want Generally, you wouldn't see a suffix, but I, for some servers, maybe you would want that. Now, here at the messages, everything you can use the general Minecraft server color codes. I also have a link to that in the description. Um, so as you can see, some formatting codes here. This slash n is parsed as a new line, so it'll be a different line in the message. And they also have uh, the developer also included some variables that will automatically replace. I'll go ahead and bring that over here also, right over here. Uh, so it'll replace name if with the curly braces, cannot remember what they're called, with uh, their name. He's got a description of everything that it replaces with here. I'll have that in the description also. And so that's about it for configuring it. And as far as permissions go, the permission for the default group would be automessage.receive.default. I can go ahead and type that out for you. That would be the permission for it. Uh, if you spelled receive right, then it would be just like that. And there you go. That'd be the permission for default. And obviously for VIP, you would just replace default with VIP, just like that. And now the way to get this to be working would save it, go into the game. And as you can see, it has been broadcasting the messages and then you can type slash am reload. There you go. And now it has reloaded and now it will broadcast all of uh, our messages set in the config to our settings and you if for all the list of commands uh, you can do this all in game if you really wanted to I prefer editing config files because I think it's a million times faster but you can go and type slash am help and it'll give you its commands there's also a command list on the website uh, I will go ahead and link you guys to that in the description but other than that I think that is about it for this video um, just so you know I will be making a tutorial on how to make a broadcast plugin for yourself if you are interested in that uh, if you're watching my bucket plugin tutorial series uh, you can go ahead and tune into that uh, by clicking that subscribe button below I think it's below now yeah um, and that that's it I'm Kenny and I'll see you guys next time